Hi there, this is Tim at Full Spectrum Laser. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the pass-through or removable floor in tandem with reference markers to cut pieces larger than your workspace. The first thing we have to do is make sure we've split our design. I'll be showing you this process in Illustrator. Starting out with our design, we want to make it so we can split it in two, so each half will fit within the workspace. All we have to do is select the knife tool and click and drag a path where we want our cut. And there we go, two halves. The issue now is that the knife tool will automatically close the paths. We don't want that. Those closed paths will make the laser cut our design in two. We want one big design, so we just grab the direct selection tool, your white arrow tool. We click the paths we want to get rid of and delete them. Easy as that. You don't need Illustrator to do this. You just need to make sure that the ends where your design is split are open like we have it here. Now that we have our design in two pieces, we can get each of them into RE3. Before we do any cutting, we're going to set our laser to absolute mode. This will give us a one-to-one -one representation of design and laser head position within the workspace. You don't necessarily have to do this before the first cut, but you will need it in absolute mode before we use our reference markers. Once the first half is ready, we'll place our material on the bed. Now this design would have fit in this PS48 by 36 if we had it sideways, but for the sake of demonstration, we've rotated it 90 degrees so the design wouldn't fit. We're going to clamp it to the bed to ensure that it stays still. We've also pushed it up against the side of the bed to make sure it's square. With our material in place, we'll start cutting the first half of our design. The first half is done, and we can see where our design ends. We'll unclamp it and move the piece down. We want to make sure we keep the material square. Here's where the reference markers come in. We'll move the laser head down and line it up with one of the ends of the path. We'll press the reference marker button and set a marker. Now we'll line it up with the other end of the path and do the same thing. You can block out the diode to help make sure you're perfectly lined up. A few more minor adjustments. We want this to be perfect. We'll set the second marker and bring in the second half of our design. In this case, we just had it hidden. Now we'll use the reference markers to line up the second half. The best way to do this is zoom way in and use the arrow keys to make tiny adjustments. Once everything's lined up, we can start our second half. As long as you're in absolute mode, it'll start right where we left off. And there you have it, a single piece design larger than the workspace. Now even though we did this in one of our Pro machines, it's the exact same process on the Muse. You can use this process with the Muse and either use the riser pass-through or remove the floor. We hope this video helped show you that you're not limited by your bed size. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, keep making.